Thanks. Thanks very much. This is now more than 20 minutes late for a checkup. Rick, maybe Matt decided to take her to a different hospital. Why would he do that? Because every time they come in here, you hassle Vanessa about her health. Now, wait a minute. Her pregnancy is a disaster waiting to happen, Michael, and you know that. Yeah, no, we maybe, both, we Rick, both know probably, what's best but... for Vanessa and Matt, and having a baby in her condition is an answer. I know not... that, but what I am trying... <laughs> oh, hi, guys. Hi. 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 How are you feeling? Oh, great, but I don't have time to talk, so I'm on my way to the uh, Dr. Sedwick. Uh, uh, Vanessa, Margaret, uh, she knows you're going to be a little bit late. What? Rick and I spoke with Matt. <clears throat> I, I don't know what Matt's told you, but uh, we need to run some tests to see if uh, there's any hormonal changes caused by your pregnancy that may have uh, brought on a recurrence of your disease. Oh, Matt didn't say anything about that to me. I, I mean, I thought I was just coming here for a routine checkup. I... Now, if the tests show there's a problem, you'll have to reconsider bringing this baby to term. You know, we haven't agreed to any tests, Rick, and it doesn't, we don't have to reconsider anything. It doesn't matter what the tests show, we're going to have this baby. You talked to them earlier? You didn't say anything to me about that. I didn't want you to be upset. Hey, uh... Do either of you know something that you should tell me? Vanessa, it's nothing that we haven't already discussed. We're worried about you, that's all, and you know the risks. Yeah, we both do, and we're still going to continue with the pregnancy. Which is totally insane. What he means is that if the test today shows certain results, then we go into further discussion. Vanessa hasn't agreed to any tests, Michael. Well, she would with a little encouragement from you, Matt. I, I don't mind taking the test. I, I don't want you to get upset. Oh, it's a little late for that now. Vanessa, my intention was not to upset you. I just think that we need to look at this realistically. All right, she'll take the damn test. She said she would. But I know that Vanessa's fine, and so does she. The lab's going to put a rush on your blood work, so uh, the sooner we know there's a problem, if there is a problem, the sooner we can handle it. You're looking for something that's not there, Rick. Well, whatever happens, we'll be able to handle it. Well, these results, uh, they shouldn't take long. Well, I'm kind of scared all of a sudden. It's Rick's attitude. He wants you to terminate the pregnancy just to be safe, Vanessa. Well, I, I was sure that everything was fine, absolutely sure, but... What if there is a problem? Well, then we'll deal with it together, but there's not going to be. Everything's going to be fine, believe me. Well, yeah. Yeah, I know, but... Look. You remember a few summers ago when we found that little baby bird? <laughs> yeah, I do. It was that little cardinal that had fallen out of the nest, and I was afraid that the parents would just not realize what had happened until it was too late. And what did I say? You said that the parental instinct would take over. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened? You were right. It was amazing. I mean, they both took turns sort of guarding it till the baby was out of danger. And we're just like those two cardinals. We'd know if something was wrong with you or something wrong with the baby. I'm getting nothing but good vibes here, Vanessa. What about you? I really feel that everything's fabulous on the home front. You see, we do know what we're doing. What's going on? What? Why, why, why is the lab taking so long with Vanessa's results? What's going on? Rick, they are working as fast as they can. Well, you know what? It's not fast enough. What, what is with you? You know, it's like you want to find something wrong with Vanessa. How can you say that? Look, I call it like I see it, and right now, you're acting like Dr. Doom. You know, it's just that Matt and Vanessa are, are, are acting like some sort of dream couple, you know, that you might see on a greeting card. You know, everything's happy, everybody's smiling, you know, everything's going great, the sun's always shining. But you know something? Life isn't like that, Michael. It's not. There's no guarantees of a happy ending. One minute you're planning your future, next thing you know, the woman you love has been battered and beaten by some animal. Rick, what happened to Abby is horrible. It's unthinkable. And you cannot make her pain go away. Trust me, I know what that is like. But you cannot let that affect your medical judgment. My medical judgment. You know something? It's just that 
I look at that man out there. You know, I look at Matt, and he's so oblivious to anything bad happening to, to Vanessa. You know, he thinks that just because she's temporarily beaten this illness, that everything's going to turn out okay, that everything's going to be perfect, but it's not. There's no guarantees of that. Just like there's no guarantee that you and Abby will ever get over the fact that she was beaten. I understand. Yeah, I guess. Oh, man, what kind of doctor am I? A good doctor. Maybe instead of coming down so hard on Matt for having faith, you should take a couple of lessons from him. I see. So you're telling me that I don't have all the answers. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it will be right up there. Here we are. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Matt, Vanessa, um, I just want to apologize how I acted earlier. It was never my intention to hurt you. Uh, the nurse just handed me the file, so, uh, well, Michael's been with you from the very beginning. I'm going to let him tell you. I hope it's good news. Thanks. Uh, well, come on, tell us. What? What is it? The... The test results show that that up until now there has been no recurrence of your disease. Both you and your baby are perfectly healthy. You're perfect. <laughs> We're having a baby. <laughs> oh, I love you. Mm. <laughs> hey. Thanks so much. Put that down for being the bearer of good news. <laughs> Thanks. I'll see you. Yeah. Bye, Matt. See you. <sighs> so. What? You. What? You know what I was thinking? No. Thinking a nice little fire in the fireplace. Curl up on the rug. Relax. When you say that. Uh huh. Uh huh. 